Come on, I fought. It's the Wendy's is letting you down. The, the Wendy's greasy fingers is letting you down, bro. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Save that replay. Oh my god! 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 Oh We're talking about our scenes. I think the, the cool thing about our scene is just how mixed it is, like yeah. the different kinds of people, and and how how kind of close it is. Yeah, you know, you, you definitely make really good friends. In fact, some of my best friends I've made through through Street Fighter. You know, NZism, Standing Fierce. That's what I really like about it. Is you know, you meet good people. You know, like present company. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah. And some of my best mates, you know, made from it. And it's just cool to be involved with, you know, it's about yeah. self-improvement and sorts of cool things. It's about it's about about challenging yourself. Mm. The thing about Street Fighter is it doesn't matter like what colour your skin is, what language you speak, none yeah. of that matters. You've just got these six buttons and the joystick and that does all the talking for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so you know, that's all the talking you need. And like we've got to have one tournament a year where it's not about everyone giving each other a hug, a pat on the back and mm. you know, we have you know, let's face it, every other tournament we do in the year is that. Yeah. This should be the time when you come to prove that yeah. you that you know, that you're one of the best players. This is yeah. your opportunity. I think that's one thing that our guys could do a lot better is just get salty, you know. Get yeah. get emotional about it and like actually feel pissed off about yeah. losing. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, but everything else is awesome. I, I think the people are great. I'm really thankful for like Rory, Graham, yeah. um, uh, Bill to, to as well um, in terms of like setting up events because yeah. uh, it'll be good that this is going on camera now because I don't do shit now. <laughs> Seriously, I just turn up, talk a bunch of crap, they organise it, it's great. <laughs> but um, prior to that, I sort of like I was running all the events. But on my own. Yeah. A couple of other things are lacking. A venue. It's like yeah. really good venues are so hard for us. Yeah. Because public transport in New Zealand sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so true. And and like everything spread out too, especially exactly. in and Christchurch too as well now. So it's really hard to get our guys all together. Mm. Um so that, I think that's that's really a big issue for us. Secondly, our, our, our internet infrastructure is really bad. Yeah. So so like it's hard for us to do lots of like good online training. We had an arcade at my boarding school. What? No shit. We had an arcade. We had, <laughs> we had Daytona USA. We had Hyper Fighting World Warrior. We had X Men vs Street Fighter. We had like everything, and like it was really competitive. All, all the guys would play a lot. So um, so back then I used to play lots at school. You know, we'd um, it, it was like our arcade and a tuck shop and stuff. So after school, before rugby training or whatever, and on the weekends at boarding school, oh, the boys would go and they would play. And like, the games were really cheap. They were subsidised. Yeah, yeah. And, and it wasn't until um, probably uh, my first year of uni in two thousand and one, when um, there's a really there was a really strong hyper fighting season scene in yeah. two thousand and one. And in fact, even until wow, this day, hyper fighting wow. is, is probably the the biggest game. You know, like it's ST in a lot of places, but New, New Zealand, Zealand is hyper fighting. definitely hyper fighting. Same and, and, and right up 2001, 2002, 2003, up at Auckland Uni, they had a, an arcade there, and they had a really strong hyper fighting scene. Mm. And um, and I used to play all the games. You know, I used to love Alpha Three. Alpha Three is still probably my favourite Street Fighter. Mm. But um, I met this guy called um, Formal. And he basically taught me how to play competitive hyper fighting, and and it was from that that I started applying it to all my other stuff. Mm. And so up there, they, were, they had a really good hyper fighting scene. And then there was another arcade at the top of Queen Street that had a decent Alpha Two scene mm. at that time. Um, then of course you go to U France itself, and they had a strong Third Strike Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter Third Strike Marvel Two, 
and uh, Tekken and CBS2 scene. Mm. And so what I did was um, I just played all of them. Wow, and like after so this cool. guy teaching me like how to how to think about it and how to take it serious and play it, that's what I just I just started applying like everything and I just couldn't get enough. I just played fighting yeah, games like, every moment. That's you know? cool. Well, it's because I was working in a recording studio and. Uh, a musician that recorded there a few times. He won a Super Sumo cabinet from LMP, and so he left it at the studio for us awesome. to have. Oh my god, that is. So, yeah, all day long I just was playing it and got addicted, and I was like, oh, I better get an Xbox or something to play it at home. So yeah. I don't keep, you know. You don't just keep all these skills, you, you can well, amuse well, yourself, it's right? more so that I don't keep, like, wasting time at work. <laughs> you know, so I can get my fixed in at home, and. Uh, and that's sure. how I. Basically met these guys was because I was like, oh, I better get an Xbox. Stop playing the machine at work so much. Well, it happened just because I, I, I was looking for a stick to use, so I just Google searched, trying to find what people use. Yeah, yeah. Found out it was one of them. Went to a store, the local store, Livewire. Yeah. And talked to them about it, and the guy there was like, Hey, you should check out the site. And oh wow, it worked. <laughs> Before the dude at Livewire told me about NZ, I didn't think anyone took it that seriously. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was just like, you know, I was just looking for a stick to play at home and then there's yeah. a community that like play it seriously. I was just I was blown away. And yeah, I was blown away. I jumped out, I was like, what the? And then how in depth that actually was with the yeah. and stuff, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's so much to go yeah. on. Because I'd learned a few other things not fighting game related from the internet, when yeah. I started sort of learn fighting games, I was kind of like, it's cool there's a community, but it's not as um, organized as I was used to from other things. Learning. Yeah, 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 and sure. So I into, and I just started complaining a lot. <laughs> why, you know, why isn't this like this? Why isn't there this? Why isn't this? Yeah. And so instead of just keep moaning about it, I thought, might as well do something, right? Yeah, well, then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Rafters and just give it a go my myself. And, and kind of went from there and then I started talking to these guys and saying... They know, had the same sort of idea and stuff? He was like, well, you know, we can have this, this, this. And I was like, yeah, but it's a struggle to get it going. And I was like, well, I'll just try and do it then. And <laughs> it snowballed from there. Once I kind of started learning about it and I realised that this was a unique time for fighting games. Yeah. With the resurgence and stuff, I was like... I don't know, a lot of things in my life just kind of come together and there's been kind of things that's like, like that? pushing me towards it. It was like, yeah, yeah. it was ah. such perfect timing for me to get involved in terms of that there was a community. Yeah, yeah. So I took that, I was like, I'll just go with it because it just seems, you know, like I should be. It's good to see like, heaps of people coming in real regularly. Yeah. Um, even for, even for stuff that's not like, their game, like um, old Moose coming in for AE, yeah, yeah. you know, predominantly a third strike, strike player. Yeah. Patrick's, Patrick's pretty good. He was, for a long time, he's like, been considered the best at third strike for Wellington. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was real, I was real impressed yesterday with um, old Moose when he was, uh, he was running some games against him and it was pretty, you know, it was a lot more even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more even, so. Those guys are obviously putting in the hard yards still. Yeah, yeah, cranking man. Cranking the third stroke. It's interesting to see the two different directions and seeing the differences between them because you could say that Tekken is strictly speaking a deeper game, but then it's uh, because of the execution of some characters and some moves, it's a simple one. In New Zealand at least, it's really, really arcade based. But I think in America it's, it's more Based. Yeah. The console version is a bit shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, it takes ages to load games. Yeah. And sometimes you'll be sitting there for like 20, 30 seconds waiting at the loading screen. Uh, and so I think people just don't really give a shit about console. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and when you're at the arcade, you've got your money on it and you've got your card on it, so it's sort of, you're trying harder. Yeah, true. And that makes it, it makes it more exciting. I think Street Fighter is easier to learn. Yeah. And Tekken is not really a game that's easy to learn. Yeah, true. Um, I mean, once you learn a little bit, then you can get combos and stuff. But you know, there's heaps of different moves, and people don't really know how to get good. Yeah. So in Street Fighter, it's like there's, each character has three moves or whatever. Yeah. And 
it's really easy to pick up. So yeah, that's yeah. Probably why there's more Street Fighter players than Tekken. I pro I play more Street Fighter than Tekken now. Yeah, it's yeah. Just because more people play. That's it. Wolverine, Magneto, Doom. Nice. And then if I lose, I'll go Magneto, Doom, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> so the cheaper I could go, the better. <laughs> but like, will you feel gutted if you have to like bust out your cheap deals? Nah, fuck no. <laughs> cheap, cheap is a fucking win. That's how you play that game. Right? You have to play that game cheap. That's how play to win, If you want to win, yeah. If you want to win, you have to do the, what the you know the best players are doing and what, what wins, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what Daigo said, right? You yeah, yeah, that's what Daigo said. The best. I'm yeah. picking you. Yeah, and I will win tournaments of them. It's a good game. It's got uh, good fundamentals, high, uh, good high low mix of game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the meter management, I really like the meter management in the game. That's my favorite thing about the game. Oh, nice. Because there's one meter, and there's all these decisions you like. One meter makes you have, you have to decide, you know? Yeah. We're going to break it here, and we're going to save it for x ray, we're going to use it for enhanced moves. You know, and then you've only got one meter. Unlike like Street Fighter 4, you have an Ultra, you know, yeah. and a Super. So you kind of get a bit more leeway. There's no catch-up factor, which I like. I need a training partner. Yeah, yeah. My training partner only plays in game. Oh, nice. He's going to play Street Fighter all Marvel. So that's, that's how come I got so good for him. Yeah. Online is absolutely great. Has it gotten any better after yeah. the patch? It got better, but another big thing, especially for our community, is that Australia doesn't have it. Yeah. And with Australia not having it, that cuts the player base down to heaps. Yeah, Think yeah. Think about Street Fighter. You can play Aussies all day if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Not in this game, because it's just not allowed over there, so. Um, and it's hard. It's yeah, hard. it's hard. But um, you just gotta try and find the players. And it, it's good that I know it was a place now, because he looks like literally down the road. Ah, so it's so gonna be so salty. Yeah, 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 that grudge match. Yeah. yeah, I need that grudge match. I want that money, man. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, come on. You, you go up and yeah. talk to anyone here and you say, come on, can I have a game of Mortal Kombat? And it's an instant, ugh, you know, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's yuck. Yeah, you know? yeah. But then people don't realize that, hey, you can actually go. And, and, and have good games on this because it's a good game. Just, you can just feel it, they're just like, oh, you know, they've, they've played the old Mortal Kombat, they played the MK vs DC, and oh, yeah. what the hell is I, Superman I, doing on this? Or? Yeah, but yeah, like, you know, I despise those types of people that just, they won't even try it. Yeah. You gotta give it a try, man. Come on, at least try it. it. Yeah, yeah, at least try what, it. What people need to do is to go check out the streams and go watch other people, the top players, play it. Yeah, and see how it's supposed to be played. Yeah. See how it's supposed to be played. Uh oh. 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 What? Oh. I can't control it. Oh. 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 What like was the three. first one you saw? Street Fighter 2 on PC. Oh, on PC! I didn't realize it had six buttons. I thought I only had like a punch and a kick. Oh, so really? I shifted my enter key. <laughs> oh, that was, that wasn't the one where you did the dragon and he goes up and then he did the dragon down, eh? And you and how did you meet Smooth? Like, like. No, uh, I mean the first RBB. tournament. Yeah, yeah, I mean the first tournament at RVB. And he's gone. Me and Ben went to like the first the first real NZers of Auckland Street Fighter 4 no, no. like meet up. That was like the original me, Ben <laughs> and like Hydro. Now my question is like why didn't I hear the damages so much like this year? Because you know like at Nationals, it almost, I heard it so much, it almost haunted me in my sleep. And it always fucking annoyed me. Bro, and now... It's been replaced with the latest cut! Yeah, it has kind of... It's just you It's just you the latest cut. Oh, but I, I'll see you guys later. I'll sit the damage of me and you and... Oh, that's... I thought that you were gonna go latest Kung like after you beat him, like after you knocked out his uh, first character. Because it's like, <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, cause, like, if you say latest Kung, it's like perfect. It's like, yeah, it's almost latest Kung. It's like the perfect setup. Because Ben's, Ben's my friend. If it was anyone else, I would have done it. He, he would, he would never latest Kung. You never latest Kung. 
That's a real high level of respect from you, bro. Bro, last minute's just scared. <laughs> Would you get real serious? Be like, man, come on, my friend. Nah, nah, I'd just be like, a, I'd be a something kind. Real. Yeah.